hey guys, check this out. Look what I made. <laughs> Look what I made. cool right anyways on to the video Stupid. crystal ball osc asks how many seasons of alka-sapon will there be two just two the reason why is because i know eventually i'm gonna have to stop making algadu content because there are other projects that i legitimately want to work on other than algadu so if I ever make season 2, that's pretty much the last season of Alka Sathlon. So, final answer, just two seasons. Emmanuel Moreno 12 asks, Can you friend me please for 2k? And we can do this so you can s <laughs> Okay, so, yes, I can friend you. For the second season of Alka Sathlon, we'll just have to see. But, keep your eyes peeled. That's all I can say. Ooh, this one's a good one. Uh, Silver Mania asks, what is your favorite entry from Itwa? Okay, so in my opinion, my personal favorite entry of Itwa had to have been Rose in episode 8. To be more specific, uh, I kind of like Rose as a character. I don't know, she just seems kind of different from other characters that I've made and other Algotubers have made. I like her personality, I like her design, and I think it was a good ending to the Itwa series. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with Rose. Final answer. Okay, so these next two comments are essentially the same thing. Okay, so as of recording this, I have great news. I have finally finished adding the finishing touches to all of the events in the Day 25 gauntlet, which means that I can now finally move on to the next stage of producing Day 25, which happens to be recording. I have to record all of the events and calculate the results. However, Day 25 is still a long way away, as these things, which I'll show up on screen right now, I haven't even started. So, maybe that 2029 fake release date might end up becoming real after all, who knows, but I'm still hopeful, you should be too. Stay so, all I can say is stay tuned, and I really hope you guys enjoy whatever I have cooking for Day 25. Okay, this next one isn't really worded properly, so I'm going to try my best to interpret it. Uh, user Yastin asks, what animation did you design the characters from Alcasathlon? Okay, so all throughout Alcasathlon Season 1, I've been using the same two programs, well, three actually, to make the skits for the event. Those programs are Autodesk Sketchbook, Paint.net, and PowerDirector. However, for the middle days, like day 13, 14, I did temporarily switch to Krita, but that didn't really work out, so I kind of just switched back to Sketchbook and Paint.net. However, in day 25, I will do something monumental for this channel. I will attempt to learn Adobe Animate. That's right. I've already teased this before, but I will try to learn Adobe Animate. I have made a scene before, but uh, let's just say that Adobe Media Coder is the worst thing just ever, in my opinion. So it kind of fell through and I lost the scene. So I'm gonna have to reanimate it again for day 25. But it's fine. Also, sorry, that's not what you asked. Okay, the Cinnamon Rolls asks, what made you start Alka-Saffron in the first place? I started all the way back when I was 11 years old in July of 2019. I basically saw that Alka-Saffron were once like really popular, but they weren't really as popular as they were back in that era, so I decided to kickstart that um, trend again by making my own, and well, now here we are. Any other things you have planned for your channel that aren't Alka-Saffron related? <laughs> you have no idea. And my opinion on Christmas, I like it. Where is Cyan after day 24? Asked by Martin Moran and Aiden Mora 73. I probably butchered that, sorry. I can't say anything because since it's after day 24, that's gonna spoil anything and I do not want that, sorry. Okay, so I already answered the first half of this question. 
So we'll just enter the second half. Where she can spot in the game for that I wish they could fit here. Abso-freaking-lutely. I have been working on my optic show idea for about a few months now. And let's just say, <laughs> it's gonna be quite an experience if this ever comes to fruition. So again, stay tuned, keep your eyes peeled. What's my main opinion on spoons asked by this silver spoon 2393? What's my favorite event I have made? Well, if we're going by original events, I guess I'm gonna have to say the latest one, event 23, the manhunt. But if we're going by remastered events for the day 25 gauntlet, it's absolutely going to have to be what I have cooked up for the remastered event one or event one plus as it's called. It is night and day between the old and new versions of Event 1. I cannot wait for you guys to see that. Oh frick, sorry, I forgot to mention that question was asked by Game Time Geo Alcadu. You're the best man, I love you. Your local YouTube commenter asks, which Alcasaphon character do you like the most? And did BFB influence my art style? Okay, to answer the first question, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna have to say and nope and did bfdi influence my art style again i grew up watching object shows ismail 838 asks how did i come up with my oc okay so i had this previous oc who was an object show character named zebra cake then i decided hmm how am i gonna put this object show character into algadu events that's when i decided well, got inspiration from BFDI, as I usually do. <laughs> Lollipop from BFDI kind of looks like an Algodoo character. So that's when I decided. Zebra Cake. Lollipop. Zebra Cake Pop. And that's how I came up with my OC. Because uh, it's basically Zebra Cake, which was my original mascot, but turned into an Algodoo stick figure person thing. And the best thing is that they're both an Algodoo stick figure, and an object, which is just insane, and I love it. So thank you for asking me that question. That was really good. I like that one. Love you. Karamush Hajab asks, gold is gonna be here. Well, that's not really a question, but it's true. He's gonna be here in about God knows when. Moon Level 77 asks, who do you think needs some improvement in my Alcazaflon? These people. Local Sunny Foxy asks, if I were to be any item I could imagine, what would I be and why? I guess I'd have to be a plane because I could fly. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you, there are just so many fucking cars like right outside my my window and they're just zooming past by and it is infuriating. <sighs> but a plane, screw it. Okay, Epic Da Boy asks how do you have the confidence and endurance to make a season 2, even though you took 4 years to make the first one? Well, I have a lot of ideas for what could potentially happen in season 2. Characters, scenarios, character dynamics, events, you know, a bunch of things that I really want to eventually come to fruition. And me running on having those ideas become a reality is pretty much the only reason why I'm even considering doing a season 2. If I did not have those ideas, there would only be one season. But thanks for asking. Adam the Racer 12 asks, will I ever make another Marble Race series? Maybe. I can't guarantee it, but maybe someday in the future. And, well, that's that. Well, that was kind of an anticlimactic ending. 
Well then, I guess all there is to say is thanks for <laughs> thanks for watching, and I appreciate you if you stayed here until the end. And I cannot wait to bring out all the ideas I have for my YouTube channel, which is currently very dead, but I just don't know when to quit. So, um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all the other stuff. And yeah, catch you around. Later. Bye. Love you.